Ever wonder why so many artists end up broke despite their massive success? The harsh reality is that record labels are often nothing more than a legal scam exploiting the very talent they're supposed to nurture. Let's talk about why signing that contract might be the worst decision an artist can make. Exposing the truth behind the music industry, biggest players, record labels. For decades, these labels have been seen as the gatekeepers to fame and fortune. The reality, many artists end up in unfair contracts and struggling to maintain creative control over their own work. If you've ever wondered why your favorite artists suddenly disappear or why their music changes drastically, it might be because their label has them in a stranglehold. Picture this, you've just dropped your first hit single, the world is singing along and the label promises you the moon. Sounds like a dream, right? But here's the catch, they own your music, your image and basically your entire career. So why exactly are record labels often considered a scam? First, let's talk about contracts. Most artists sign deals that give the label control over the music and in many cases, even their future work. These contracts are notoriously one-sided, often leaving artists with little to no ownership of the very song they created. Take for instance the issue of high fees. Labels often charge artists for everything, production costs, marketing, even travel expenses. And guess what? Those costs are recouped from the artist's earnings, not the label's profits. This leads to situations where artists sell millions of albums but see very little in their bank accounts. Another problem is the lack of support from the labels. Labels are quick to sign artists when they see potential, but the moment things get tough, they're just as quick to drop them. Artists like Megan Thee Stallion, who's been vocal about her legal battle with 1501 Certified Entertainment, or Jojo, not Siwa, that one who sings Get Out, Right Now, Leave, It's the End of You and Me, who was sidelined by her label for many years, are prime example of how labels can stifle careers rather than support them. Then there's Taylor Swift, who had to re-record her entire catalog just to reign control over her own music after a very public dispute with Big Machine Records. Even Kanye West, with all his influence and power, has had well-documented battles with his labels over contract disputes. And this shit goes way back to the Michael Jackson times, but this is for a different video. Just look at the stories of artists like Lil Uzi Vert, who famously fought to get out of his contract with Generation Now, claiming they were stalling his career. These examples aren't exceptions. They're the rule in a system designed to keep artists in check. Look, the bottom line is, record labels are designed to protect themselves, not the artist, leaving artists to fight for scraps of their own success. It's a brutal truth, but one that more people need to wake up to. As we've seen times and times before, the music industry is riddled with traps and pitfalls, with record labels leading the charge. For aspiring musicians, the key takeaway here is to be cautious, informed, and ready to fight for your own art. The dream of making it big is enticing, but the reality is that without the right knowledge and protections, you could end up with less than what you bargained for. And in media with TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, an artist can showcase their talent and build careers off of just that without the help of record labels. So what do you think? Are record labels necessary evils? Or are they just out to exploit talent for profit? Have you ever supported an artist who went through something like this? Let me know in the comments below.